Howdy folks, K1 GMM Steve here in the ditch on a very cold Saturday morning in January 2023. I have some information for you regarding running November 1 Mike Mike along with SDR console. I've had issues for pretty much six years now where if I'm working an event, uh, QSO party, DX contest, whatever, and I need to run November 1 Mike Mike as a contest logger. What ends up happening is something will hijack the COM port and SDR console will flash and change frequency. It'll change the configuration in the spectrum. Sometimes it will even change bands. Anyone who is running console tag team down to a 7300 who's tried to run November 1 Mike Mike, maybe you have experienced this. It's very frustrating. I love console and I want to run the 7300 in the contests and the events. Uh, the only way to get around that, I found, is to basically disconnect November 1 mic mic from CAT. And you have to manually input the frequency, which is a pain in the arse. So I, I was sitting there thinking last night, this is six years worth of farting around with this. I've never been able to get it to work. Um, it works fine with November 1 mic mic standalone. And it works fine with SDR console standalone. But the minute I light up November 1 Mike Mike with console running, yeah, uh, unstable. And which, if, that, if the radio change bands under transmit and you're running an amplifier, that could be catastrophic, depending on how much power you're running. So, needless to say, I haven't been able to get this working until last night. I'm going to show you guys what works for me. How I got it running and it seems to be very stable. I've let it run for last night for a couple hours and I let it run this morning for oh easily two hours, two or three hours. Uh, so I'm going to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough on the changes I made to get this working. So everything connects and just works. Okay so uh, without further dribbling let's get over to the radio and the first thing you want to do on the radio is go to menu set connectors CIV so I have uh, now keep in mind I've got November 1 Mike Mike working regardless of whether it's in link to remote or unlink from remote so by default, all the documentation you read states that the radio has to be placed in unlink from remote. I'm going to just show you how I got it working. Now, you'd think console wouldn't work or connect, but it does. And it works in unlink from remote. Don't ask. I'm just showing you how I did it. So, I have the radio placed in unlink from remote right here. And the CIV USB baud rate I have set to 9600. And again, you press the up arrow, CIV baud rate, I have that set to 9600. I do not have the other one, other one set to auto. All right, so once that's done, Coolio, you're out of there. That's all you need to do on the radio. Now what we need to do is we need to head over to Device Manager. So open up your Device Manager, Silicon Labs. You want to find your ports, open up your port dropdown. Silicon Labs driver COM3 is where my ICOM 7300 is sitting on. This is the driver for the 7300. Right click on this, go to properties, port settings. I have this set to 9600. Data bits, everything else is pretty much default except for flow control. I changed the flow control to X on, X off. Okay, and advanced. You click the advanced button. I have my uh, buffers set to both high, receive and transmit. That's for the fastest performance. Okay, click OK, click OK, that is done. You're out of device manager. You will need to be running VSPE. I'm not going to explain any more about that, but you need a serial port emulator and you need to set it up on a COM port splitter. So as you can see here, Ignore the COM5 and COM6. I have COM3 and COM2. This is a splitter. My native COM port for the 7300 
that's generated through the USB cable is COM3, so I created a splitter to COM2. You can split it however you want. Uh, whatever available port you can grab that's open, um, you can create a virtual port there. So I have it split from COM3 to COM2. All of your software sits on COM2. The radio sits on COM3. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up. So right click in your splitter. And you'll see data serial port COM3, virtual serial port COM2. I have redirect modem registers, RTS and DTR turned on. Go to settings, set the, your speed to 9600. We want them all the same. Everything else you can leave alone. Stop at one. Okay. Once that's done, click OK. That's done. Save it. Uh, you can go up here, do a file, do save as, and you can send it to your desktop and just click on it and uh, it'll just open up ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and enable this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to launch SDR console. Couple more steps here. We're gonna wait for SDR console to connect. You'll see, you'll see IC7300 online. Um, so what you want to do once console lights up is open your external radio. Make sure this is uh, opened right here. Click the question mark and open OmniRig. Click on OmniRig. We need to make sure OmniRig is correct. Mine is uh, sitting on rig two because I have multiple rigs here. Uh, select the radio IC 7300 and remember we want to put that port on OmniRig on COM2. That's the split. That's the splitter that we created in VSPE. Set that to COM2. Baud rate 9600. RTS DTR low. Click OK. Bada boom. That is done. So OmniRig is now set up, and, you, and if it's not, if you didn't do that, you can also do that through uh, the Windows, in Windows, before you even start console. That's the way I would recommend doing it. Just type uh, OmniRig into the search window in the bottom left-hand corner of Windows, and it'll pop up OmniRig, open it, and you can configure it there. You don't have to do it through console. Okay, so next step is we need to launch November 1 Mike Mike. Get this running. And there it is. 7178. Now, if we go into, you will need to configure November 1 Mike Mike. So you go to config, configure ports, mode control. Of course, so let, you want to set this on COM, COM2. Radio to IC7300. Go to set and open this window set your speed hold on for a second set your speed to 9600 everything else default stop bits one dtr rts always off and everything else i leave alone i did change the radio polling rate to 100 percent slower uh, so i wanted i wanted november one mike mike to relax a little bit because it is a port hawk with the icon all right uh 100 slower on the polling rate once that's done click ok i'm not going to do that because i've already set that up click ok click ok here and you should see november one mike mike lock up with the transceiver uh you can see here the 7300 is sitting on 7178 everything is synced up okay that is basically it in a nutshell um so I can PTT the radio, and there you go. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just I'll just bring the rig, uh, the audio online quickly here. Go up to Brian, and we will unmute console. I'm sure you uh, sounding good here, uh, Mike, uh, and uh, you sound familiar too. So. Good, uh, good, good morning. Yeah, I think we've worked before. You sound very familiar to me also. 
Anyway, carry on. I, I, I'm friends with Joe. I don't know if you know Joe. Um, so um, punch the PTT. And, and you when uh, I was and talking to Joe go. one day. Everything's running. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Oh. Now, like I said, I've let this sit here for hours now. There's been no hijack. There's been nothing. Everything just runs. Uh, so there you go, and and you can see. Uh, I did make some changes to the computer, although I didn't, I can't remember exactly what they are, but you can see the CPU usage here in console, very, very low, 0.9%, 1.1%, very, very, 0.8%, 0.7%, um, very, very passive, very passive. Um, so everything's chugging along really good, really stable, so looking forward to uh, going back to uh, this setup during the events uh, just because the control I get on the front end with console uh, superb almost boy it's damn good anybody who's run console knows that um, with the RxDAP it beats the pants off the Apache natively of the native Apache front end regardless of whether you're running NR2 or not hmm and that coffee is good. And with that, I'm going to conclude. Hope this helps you guys. Give it a run. Fingers crossed. Hope you guys uh, have some success with this. This has been a nut I've been trying to crack for years. And it seems to be really, really stable. So, anyways. Have a great day. I'm going to be back. I have another video I need to push. And maybe some live, live work this weekend. So, hopefully catch you guys on a live stream, which would be really awesome. Um, seven, three, all have a great day and I hope this helps. Helpy Helperton here, Steve K1GMM. I'm out of here. We'll see you.